So now in this video we're going to use a 555 timer integrated circuit. It's wired in by stable mode right now. The output's going to stay low until I press the button that goes to the uh, trigger pin right there. Now the output's high. The output's going to stay high until we press the button that goes to the reset pin as you can see there. If I hold them both then uh, the reset pin is the more powerful uh, pin so it will hold the output low. We will come over to the schematic to look at it closer and uh, you can see uh, pin 2 and pin 4 both have a pull up resistor that prevents it from doing anything. Pin 6 is the opposite. You have to uh, go to ground uh, to prevent it from doing anything. Have a low enough voltage. But in any case, if we press the uh, button to the trigger pin, then we'll give a low input to 2. It's active low. That makes it respond. It sets the output high, which is actually about 3.5 volts if you're using 5 volts because it uh, loses about a volt and a half. Uh, but the red LED will light up, as you can see there. And then if you press the uh, reset uh, button here, that's the reset pin, you give a low input. It's also active low right there. And it sets the output low. And uh, so the way we have it wired up, the blue LED lit up. And uh, current went to ground 